Hi, welcome to today's vlog. I'm here with architect Sebastian Ziaz and he is helping us out with one of the projects that we're working on right now. So I wanted to introduce him to you, but I also wanted to introduce um, why we've decided to use Sebastian as an architect and give a little bit of an update on the project that we're working on so far. So Sebastian, welcome. Why should people listen to you as an architect? Okay, uh, hello everyone. Hello Jason. Thank you for this uh, interview. interview. Um, uh, okay, I can tell you something about my, me and my profession. I'm an architect and I'm a designer too. I studied those two careers in the university. After I finished my career, uh, I start a um, master degree uh, in, in architect too. So um, that's my my background, my studies. Uh, I'm working for a long time here in Cuenca, around uh, 15 years, and uh, dedicated to this profession. So I, I love to, to serve in, in these uh, kind of projects, in interior projects or architecture projects. I love, I love this, this work. Did you study in Cuenca? Yes, I study here in, in Cuenca. Yeah, awesome. And moving on to the project that we're collaborating on, it's, we're calling it Casa Malo because it's on Benigno Malo and it's owned by the, the same family, the, the Malos. Um, and this is one of those old patrimonial houses in El Centro and it has a lot of challenges, it's very unique um, and we deliberately, when we were trying to figure out okay, uh, which architect should we use for this project we, we immediately thought of you because of your combination of old historic projects and bringing them alive with some of the, the modern touches and for our clients that really fit the brief because They've done warehouse conversions themselves in the past and they were looking for something very, very particular with this old meets new type scenario. So can you just talk me through the beginning part of that process with the clients when you were developing um, almost like a response to the brief that, that we put out? What were your first thoughts and, and what was the process? Okay, uh, the first step in the, in the whole process, of course, is listening to, to our clients. It's very important for us to try to, to be in the head of our clients, try to think what they are thinking. Uh, that's, that's the first part, because we can uh, uh, have a lot of information for the project and then start the design process. So that's the, that's the first thing. So a, a good conversation with the client, as yes. you were saying, that's yes. where the process really started to take shape. Yeah, it's, it's the most important, I, uh, I think, because with that information, you can start a good process of, of design. After that, uh, we, we need uh, some time to try to figure out how the design uh, is going to be, okay? then we can establish a style, a style of budget, or, or any other part of the, the, the design process. But for sure, the, the first part is the most important. Sure, and these clients, I think they were very good in that they had a very clear vision of what they wanted with, the, with this project. How did you find working with these clients and basically putting their vision onto paper? Um, I think it's always a, a challenge uh, when we start a project like Casamala, for example, because it's uh, a house that is uh, a patrimonial heritage, and we need to to consider so many other things. But uh, that's a good project because it's, it, that, that kind of proje project challenge us, challenge me, and we need to put more um, emphasis. Project. There's certainly sure. a lot of challenges when it comes to the patrimonial buildings. What, what are some of the key challenges that you are expecting to face or have already faced with the design or the, the renovation of the... Yeah, uh, I think is uh, we need to, to try to, to be in respect with the, the patrimonial uh, architecture and at the same time uh, try to propose a new space, a new design. Those two, two parameters, those two things, 
uh, must be uh, in a in a kind of, of relation. Mm -hmm. See, you need to find that relation that works for the project. Yeah. So then you can have a, a very good project for sure. Well, and what, where are we at in the project right now in terms of the, the current status and what have we completed today? Okay, uh, we uh, right now are uh, trying to to take some uh, actual measurements of the house, the Casamala, yeah. because it's an, an uh, old house and has a lot of uh, tiny spaces that we need to uh, measure and be sure how, how is that part so of the house. We have the plans already from the old house, yeah. but you're saying that's not enough. You need no. to... Yeah. We, what, what's the gap there? Uh, okay. We, we, right now we have the actual plans, but now we need to analyze that, that plans because we need to change the plans to the new design. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to be very uh, careful when we uh, take some decisions, for example, to remove uh, a wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to study first how is the structure, how is the uh, illumination, how is the ventilation and and if this is a good decision for, for the project we are right now in, in that step great great um, and so how long is this step going to take around uh, two weeks yeah. around two weeks because at the same time we are uh, trying to get a model a virtual model of the house and then we put some ideas on, on that model yeah. some ideas of the style uh, to start Great, great. And can you walk me through some of these decisions that you've made throughout the, the process right now? So you're saying before we need to remove a wall. You know, maybe we can walk through some of those decisions. Yeah, in that particular project, we are considering to remove some walls to, uh, to have bigger spaces. For example, in, in the master... Because there's a lot of rooms there, right? Yeah, now. yeah, it's about uh, one, two, three, four, four rooms in the whole house. So, but we are trying to to uh, give more space to the master. Correct. So, for, for to do that, we need to remove maybe some walls in the in the first floor. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And so that's a pretty big, you know, structural change. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, we're not going to touch anything too structural, mm -hmm. um, but. Are there any other changes, uh, big changes that, that the clients are proposing? Yeah, uh, for example, our clients are proposing uh, a new style for the whole space. So we need to, to, to consider what they expect, yeah. what they want, and how we can do that on uh, this space in particular. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a challenge. We are working on that, we are working with some drawing, we are working with the computer all the time and we have uh, meetings, I say we because I have a team behind me so we are, we are in, that, in, in that process, it's, it's, it's like a brainstorming uh, part got it, got it. then we, we have all the information put on, on the paper, put on the computer we, we start to uh, make and take some decisions that we can uh, to and how, in, in terms of client interaction throughout this process, what, what has that looked like in, in general, like talking to the clients? Yeah, we, we need uh, several uh, meetings with our clients. So we, for this particular project, we are waiting for uh, half uh, a first look of the space. Then we, we call to our clients to, to discuss that. A tiny results Got it. That, we, that we have. So, that so we have a, a conversation coming up soon. What's the next conversation going to be? And I, I, I hope it's next week, for example. I have a several conversations around two or three conversations, small conversations. We need uh, just uh, information mm -hmm. at, at the first. Then we have, when we have a, a, a look of, or first look of the project, then we need to discuss with our clients deep, deep about, uh, about the project. I understand. And you've got some plans, obviously. Um, what, what are we looking at here? Um, oh, here, uh, here you can, you can see a, a part of the project, the structural uh, part of the project. Uh, 
And remember, I, I told you we need to analyze this part. When this part is, is done, we can start to put uh, the whole space in another, another uh, level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. So this is the existing structure, right? Mm -hmm. So to date, um, so none of the changes that we're proposing are on this plan? Yeah, okay. we are proposing some changes, of course. Yeah. Can you walk me through the, the changes? Yes, of course. Uh, for example, in this in this particular project, the footings. Yeah. We analyze uh, the footings part because we have a here we have another house. Yes, so we need to put our footing uh, far from the from the existing house. What's the offset generally? Uh, in, in this particular uh, case, it's two meters, mm -hmm. and we we need to do that because the other house has a basement and has a structural wall there. So if we put this put it next to the existing wall, we can damage that that structural wall. So that's why we decide to put apart. Yeah. Nice. What other changes do we have here? Okay, here you can you can you can see for example this uh, blue blue color is uh, a, a terrace. Before it was uh, a roof, so we changed to to have a, a terrace. Mm -hmm. then, then you can enjoy uh, the view. The view. Yeah. That that kind of changes we are analyzing in the in this part in this in the structural part. We 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 work. Of course, with mathematics on the, with the structure, but at the same time we work uh, thinking about uh, how you can enjoy the space with these decisions in this uh, first step. Of the awesome. And so this project is quite unique in that, yes, we have the, the main part of the house back here, but we also have the front part. Are there any, um, the front part, what does that consist of? And are there any changes at the moment that we're considering to that? We, uh, when, when we talk about the academy, okay, uh, when we are working in a patrimonial house, uh, we need to respect uh, all the, the laws for that kind of, of process. So we need to respect colors, we need to respect the special, uh, and, Parts of the architecture, for example, windows or for example, roofs. So we need it to be very, um, very accuracy with, with when we work with these parts. Yeah, awesome. And are there any, just especially with the patrimonial side of things, are there any changes that the clients really wanted that you just couldn't do because of the patrimonial status? It depends. Because uh, the, the houses has different levels of heritage, yeah. heritage. classification. Okay. Classification, that's, that's, that's good. So when you have a high level of classification, you, maybe you can not uh, do any, anything. You can respect a lot of So what, what's, the, what's the level of this particular house? Uh, it's a level uh, C, so you can, you can remove walls, you can change the style of the interior yeah. you can uh, you, you can do a lot of, of, of things great great that's that's why it's a good a good kind of project when you have a, a c level you can do too, too many too many changes Got it. and so the clients didn't really have any issues with any of the changes so far that they wanted right we could pay, basically make all the changes happen that yeah, they wanted. Basically, yeah yeah, yeah I, I think is yeah the 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 most high uh, level of heritage uh, uh, it's a but that's for buildings like schools old schools of course or churches or that kind of buildings yeah. when we are talking about houses uh, gen generally uh, we are in level c or b have you done D. have you done any of those level a yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of, yeah, lot of it was, yeah, it was a, 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 we, we were working in a, in a restaurant. Uh, that restaurant uh, was in, um, in an old school in, in front of the Parque Calderón. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's the most higher level of, 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 of building. Yeah. Uh, we can 
we can do some things, but we need to respect a, a lot of others. So we include that parts of the, of the building that we can not do anything, we include the design. For example, uh, walls, painted, painted walls with art wall, uh, very, very odd. So got it, that's, got it. That's, why, that's how we work in that project. So a lot more limitations. And just moving on a little bit to the construction side of things, I, I also understand that has some pretty significant limitations given where the building is located. Um, so in terms of uh, in terms of the challenges that you're going to face there, can you walk me through some of those key ones? For example, building, uh, dropping off supplies at night. You know, I think that's one of the key ones that, that you need to comply with. Um, okay, for, to, for working in that kind of, of, of houses, uh, you need a, a very good schedule, uh, I think to, for example, you, you, you have to work sometimes at the night because the regulations say, says you have to, to uh, take uh, all material and put away from the house at, at, at the night, at eight, for example. Right. I think the, the schedule is So like when we're doing this demolition, for example, yeah. that's going to be very important to make sure that the timings are 100% on plan, right? On time, or else there's going to be a lot of overruns and stuff like every, that. Every project needs a, a, a good schedule, a good, a good timing, so... Yeah. Uh, but you need a special timing, a special schedule for this kind of houses. Understood, understood, really cool. Um, do you have any videos of the process um, so far, or any photos that you've taken? Yes, uh, of this particular project, we are starting, remember? So, we uh, have photos of actual uh, actual uh, state of the house but in the process we we work uh, with some photos how how is progressing can uh, the construction or the progress of the of the design of the house. in terms of the progress itself how long are you expecting this project to take oh, okay this project maybe is going to take 6 months 6 months uh, then and the people and our clients can go out and use that space. Great, just a couple more questions. Uh, the first one is, I really like the way that you blend the old with the new. Um, can you just walk me through your general approach to doing that in buildings here in Cuenca and also the approach for this particular project and if there's any changes between the two? Yeah, um, okay, I think the way we blend those two uh, styles is uh, trying to establish uh, a focus uh, in, in the whole house and whole space. In this particular uh, project, we have a fireplace in, in the middle of the, of, of the house, and I think it is a, a good start to put the, the old with the modern together. Got it. Because it's in the middle of the house, in a in a uh, in, in a part of the house called the patio central, in the in the old houses here, in old houses here in Cuenca, the patio central was the most important part because that part of the houses bring light, brings air to the to the bedrooms, to the to the kitchen, to the every single space. Yeah, yeah. So now. This patio central, it's close. It's close with a um, skylight, uh, and this skylight is uh, about uh, seven seven meters above. Yeah, yeah. So we we have a beautiful light in, in this particular part of the house. So this it sounds like of... your approach is you've taken like one of the most important parts, like the, as a focus and considering the options how you can blend those styles together and once you have that in place it's, it's you almost use that as inspiration yes because we we generate our uh, inspirations inspiration because when we designed this particular part we can use the decisions the, the design uh, parts of this fireplace for example yeah. for 
uh, the other spaces. See, you see, so you can uh, do a very good job with a part of the house, and you can reproduce mm. those ideas in the other, in yeah. the other place. I like that. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and in terms of other projects that you have going on, what what else are you working on right now? Uh, we are working on several projects, uh, different. Uh, all in El Centro or all around Cuenca? Around Cuenca. Yeah. Uh, even uh, outside of, of Cuenca, for example, we are working right now in um, Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. We are working in a, in, a, in a church. Oh wow! Yeah, for uh, for our congregations. But, but the main big church or a different one in Guadalajara? In, in Guadalajara, which church in Guadalajara? It's a new church. It's, oh, a new church. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's um, it's a group of monks. 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 Yeah. monks. It's a group of monks, they need a new church, so we are working on... Is that a challenging project? Yes, of really? course. <laughs> it's a, I don't know, it's a different <laughs> project. Yeah, but the, 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 the project uh, we do here in, in, in the, the studio is, is home. So most projects are, are homes. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, so 90% are homes? You would yeah, suggest yeah. ninety percent of our homes. We are working in, in actual right now. We are working in a construction. We are working around uh, twelve projects at the same time. Yeah, and of course, this model project is that's really cool. Goes. And in terms of people contacting you, so how can they, they get in contact if they want to? Okay, have a uh, website. Yeah, we have a website. Uh, we have uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, or or using WhatsApp. Way to, to awesome. Contact. So I'll provide the links to all those in the description. Um, thanks, Sebastian, for your time. I cannot wait to see this project come into fruition. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and you can expect a few more videos on updates as well over time. And thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye.